Good evening, ladies. I'm glad to have you here on my YouTube station, channel, whatever it's called. I hope you have all your things ready and I'm going to walk through our card that we're making tonight. As you can see, it's below and I've used the, the shimmery embossing powder to do those flowers. And so the project that we're working on uses a couple of stamp sets to a wild rose and also so sentimental. The two wild rose is found in the annual catalog and the so sentimental is in the spring mini. And I'm sure that you've found your own stamp sets to use at this point if you don't have those, but those are two really great ones, very versatile for a lot of different projects if you're interested. So let's get on with the project. On the inside of my card, it has a surprise mini card. Isn't that cool? I love that stamp set, the So Sentimental. It's so neat. Lots of good sentiments, so to say. All right, so I pre-cut all of my pieces. So here's the piece that goes on the front of our inside mini card. And you can put it like this, which is kind of cool. I used mine like this. And I adhered it with my liquid glue. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Takes a little bit of time to do that, but bear with me. You don't need a lot of this because when you get a lot of it, <laughs> it goes everywhere and when it sticks on you, it does not want to let go. So I like this glue for little things because of the tip that it has on it. And I also like it because if you let it dry before you stick it on a project, it kind of is like a two-way glue where it'll be temporary if you let it dry before you stick it on your project. So that comes in kind of handy sometimes. I guess another thing that you can use it for, especially these days, is for uh, envelopes. When you're uh, closing your envelope to send to your person you've made a card for. That way you don't have to use your potentially harmful saliva. Alright, so this just goes on here like this. And I can take my snips. Hang on. And cut off the excess that I don't need. Get rid of those. And then I'm going to set this aside. Can you guys still see me? And take my piece for the inside of my card and I'll stamp it in the Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And we'll use this stamp, wishing, wishing you much happiness today and always. Ink it up really well. Another thing that you could do is use your Stamparatus, especially if you're worried about not getting a um, really heavy stamp. I'm just going to go with what I've got at this point rather than bringing in some more equipment. So I've also learned over the years that instead of just going straight down and straight back up, you do go straight down, but then just leave it on your cardstock for a little bit and let that ink soak into your cardstock. And then carefully pull it back up and you should end up with a pretty good stamping. So then I'm going to take, let that dry for a little bit, and then use my snail adhesive. To glue it to the inside of my surprise mini card that's inside the 
card that we're making tonight. Okay, now set that aside again and bring in the components for the rest of this card. And I have pre-embossed these flowers from To a Wild Rose. So pretty. I just love that embossing powder, the shimmer black. There's also shimmer white, and that's really cool too, but chose the black just to, to be real dramatic on this card. So, also I pre-embossed with the hammered metal embossing folder this piece, and I had also gone through with the next to the largest rectangle die, or rectangle, yeah, rectangle die, and uh, ran the stitch along the side of it. For my project today, I'm leaving it the, the rough side up, but you can turn it over and use the smooth side. Whatever, whatever side you choose to use, it's totally your card, so go for it. So then I also have this Coastal Cabana piece that I have pre-embossed with the Subtles embossing folder. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's really subtle, hmm, but it's really cool. So I'm going to take my liquid glue again. Let's see which side do I want to do. I think they're kind of equally good. That's kind of cool. That doesn't usually happen for me. Anyway, go ahead and smear a bunch of glue on here. Kind of get it next to the edge, but not too close that it oozes out, hopefully. And I guess I had meant to say too, another thing that this liquid glue is good for is when you have whatever you're adhering is not, you know, just a real smooth surface. It's rough like this. So it'll catch on more surface area so that it sticks better to your project. All right, there we go. And then come in with your piece of hammered. And like I said, I'm going to use the non-smooth side, the side that has more lines, so to speak, more raised lines. And I'm coming back in with the multi-purpose glue because I really want it to stick. Right. And then place that down there like that. Just kind of get it centered at least. That's my intent. And then with your flowers that you've embossed. Oh, and regarding the embossing thing, make sure when you're embossing, here's the piece that I used, that you rub the embossing buddy all over it to get the oils from your fingertips off and anything else that it may have picked up in the process of being handled so that the embossing powder only sticks to the Versamark ink that you're using to emboss with. And then when I'm embossing, I use this tool. It's a pickup tool. It's a little tweezer-like thing. We used to have a tool kit that it came in, so if you don't have one of these tools, obviously we don't have it in the catalog anymore, but um, it's a good thing to have in your stash if you're visiting your local craft store at any time soon. Alright, so I'm going to take my dimensionals and put a bunch. The more the merrier. I think I did four on each one for the uh, sample card. So put your dimensionals on, because you really want the, the petals to stay down on this. And then pop those pieces off. Hello, come over there, there you go. And then we'll arrange these so that they're on the corners and they're popped up slightly. Get that piece of whatever that is off of there. All right, so turn them over. And what do you think? Does that look good? 
Okay, so stick those down. Don't push them down real hard yet, but that actually looks pretty good. I'm gonna set this aside then, and I have my piece that's been cut using the sentimental dies that go with the stamp set so sentimental. Look at these. These are so cool. I opened this package up the other day and I was like, oh, I didn't know it came with all those scalloped rectangles. What? And then look at those. How cool. All right, so we're going to use the big framelit kind of thing. And I went ahead and cut that out already. So come in with your stamp that you're, you've chosen. Ink it up real good with your memento ink. And then let it sit. Okay. Yay, I did a good job. You guys are my lucky charm. Thank you for watching tonight. And then I, I thought about popping it up also, the label. But I chose to just glue it on the ends with my multi-purpose glue because the flowers are already popped up. So it'll be sticking to the flowers. So kind of cool. So don't put anything in the middle. All right. I think I've got my flowers where I want them. Looks good. So go ahead and press those down. Bring this piece in. Enter it. Yay. Looks pretty good. And then you're going to come back in with your mini card. I chose not to glue that at the beginning in case anything happened to the rest of my card. I didn't want to mess this up and have it uh, need to be restamped. So I'm going to use my snail on the back here. And center that. Not too bad. And there you go. And then look. Look what I talked about on my uh, instructions when you end up with uh, a <laughs> ink where you didn't think it was going to be. Those are perfect opportunities to change things up a little bit. So I'm guessing what I'll do is with my sequins here. Oh, aren't they gorgeous? Holy cow, look at those. Those are the iridescent sequin assortment that is uh, available in the annual catalog. So pick some sequins out of here. And I think I'm going to put them on the inside, too, where I inked unintentionally. Don't know how that happened. Hmm. All right. And then choose three more for down on the bottom. And go ahead and I've got those placed. Then I'm going to take my liquid glue again because it's really good for sequins. You can also use the fine tip glue pen, but I find that this one for me just seems to work better. It doesn't soak into the cardstock as quickly as the fine tip glue does. I'm not sure why that is, but true statement for my experience anyway. Come here. Here, come here. Off you go. There we go. All right. So, come on. Get on my project. There. There. Oh, 
it's not going. Come on, quit sticking to the finger. And there. And then once I'm a little time, I'll come back in and put some sequins on the inside of the car where I have some unintentional <laughs> pinking. All right, so that's our project for tonight. I did have a couple of other ones that I wanted to show you. Let me move these things out of the way. Um, my inspiration was from one of our design team, artisan design team members, and she made a card similar to this and posted it on our demonstrator website. So she did a vellum card and used the white embossing powder and the black shimmer embossing powder. Put those sequins on. And then there's her card on the inside. And she did a few more decorations and so on, but there's one very similar to what she did. And then I also did one on regular cardstock, and this is on the uh, Coastal Cabana. And kind of the same design, just didn't use the vellum. And then I stamped my sentiment on the on the mini card. So those are my uh, examples that are in addition to the card that I came up with. So I'll be so excited to see your cards that you made tonight on my Facebook page. And I will send you a link where to put those cards on that page. I will send it in your email, I think. So be looking for that, okay? Alrighty, have a great evening. Really sorry we couldn't get together tonight, but hey, you know what? These are odd times that we're living in, but we're doing the best that we can, right? Trying to stay happy and non-stressed. I love you guys. Talk to you later. Oh, sorry. <laughs>